That's really pretty though, that, that platinum, plutonium. It's plutonium. Yeah, plutonium. <laughs> Did I say platinum before? I don't know, it's early guys, so uh, <laughs> I just work with me here, okay? Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Pavanine Studios Beauty and Art. If you're new here, my name is Amy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to jump right into it because I mentioned in the last couple of videos that I got a few new palettes. And the palette I am going to use today is the Natasha Denona Trichrome Palette. And this was uh, making a big splash because it has three multi-chromes in it, which is, which is pretty cool. This is what she looks like. So these three colors in the middle here, those those are the the, the multi-chromes, the trichromes. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing today. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do today, but I do have my eyes primed, so we're just gonna we're just gonna dive in because why not, right? I think I have like brown and black um, sort of leopard print pants on today. Oh, do you like my space buns? Aren't they cute? They're so cute. <laughs> well, at least I like them. Anyway, um, so I think I am going to do kind of a, uh, I don't know, kind of a warm, there's like a, I don't know. Let's just, let's just play. I'm just going to play. So I'm going to start off. I do have my eyes primed with the um, Natasha Denona eye primer, and um, this is a relatively new primer for me so i'm still kind of testing it out uh i it's okay i think uh, i got the medium shade and uh, it seems fine it's like almost exactly the color of my my skin which i'm not really medium but uh, i would imagine that if you're a deep skin tone that would be the one to go for as opposed to the uh, light one because there's only two shades which i think is stupid they should have three or four so I'm just going to go into my upper crease with the color diatonic. We're going with diatonic. <laughs> and this is kind of a nice uh, sort of peachy salmony shade. And I am just fluffing that into my crease. I will say that just initially looking at this palette, I was a, not disappointed because I knew what I was getting, but just I wish there was a couple more darker shades, um, deeper shades, just because, I don't know, I like a lot of like depth, like light tones, medium tones, dark tones in a palette because that makes it a little bit more of a one and done palette and this only has two that would be considered like deeper shades um, the color scrap which is kind of a dark army green and the color manganese which is a dark purple and those are real pretty colors I've, I've played just a little bit like swatching on the back of my hand and stuff with these colors and they are really nice I mean Natasha Denona's palettes are pricey this was $129, I believe. I got it on the Sephora VIB sale, so I did get 20% off, but even so, they're, they're expensive palettes. At any rate, if I feel like I need to, I will go into my Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. If I need to bring in like a darker brown or something like that to deepen things up, I will do that. But I'm going to try to just stick with this, this one palette and we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to pick up the color Garmin, which is kind of a mid-tone brown, fleshy kind of shade. And I'm just going to focus that a little bit more in the, in the crease here. I do believe that these are basically pressed pigments. And so there is some kick up in the pan, which does not bother me. Some people are greatly offended by kick up in the pan, but I am not one of those people. I'm 
And I'm just taking my time to kind of build this up in my crease a little bit. I do still have a little bit of dryness on my uh, left eyelid here a little bit, so I'm just trying to, to work around that. Even though I did moisturize and all that jazz this morning, but nevertheless, it's, it insists on persisting. <laughs> so that's, that's nice. I'm using kind of a, this is the Morphe Jeffree Star brush. This is the J6. And uh, it's, it's okay. I need to get some like really good brushes, I think. I just haven't been able to like pull the trigger as far as, because they're expensive. Really good brushes are really expensive. Like I'm thinking about the, the Refer brushes and the Wayne Goss brushes, and I made buy some Sigma brushes because I've heard that those are really good. I'm going to pick up the color Platinum, which is kind of a, a yellowy, tangerine -y kind of shade. I don't know. I just like it. I want to use it. So I'm just going to kind of go over that initial shade, which was kind of that pinky color, pinky peachy color. And uh, I'm just going to see if I can brighten this up a little bit. This palette is definitely different than anything I have in my collection. I don't usually go for like sort of the more pastel-y colors just in general because I don't really, I don't know. If you get a pastel palette, a lot of times they just don't have the depth in them that you need in order to do, you know, anything smoky or anything like that. And I like dark colors on my eyes. That's really pretty though, that, that platinum, plutonium. It's plutonium. Yeah, plutonium. <laughs> Did I say platinum before? I don't know, it's early guys, so uh, <laughs> I just work with me here, okay? Um, let's see, shall we go in with one of the chromium, trichromium, trichrome, multichrome, whatever, multichrome colors? Do I want to do the green one? So I have, there's three. There is a Scarab, Kinetic, and Color Flip. Let me just do some little finger fingertip swatches. This is what they look like. Really, really pretty. I mean, they're definitely pretty colors. Let's see if I can get a You know, I think I'm going to go into the color color flip, which is this one right here. Just because it's got kind of a green to purple flip, a um, little bit of I don't know. That's the thing. That's the really fun thing about multichromes is that every time you look at them, you see something a little bit different. I'm just going to use my finger and put this on my lid. And we're gonna go all over. And then I will likely go into the color scrap and darken things up a little bit. That's the dark sort of army green one that I mentioned. So hopefully, hopefully you can see the shift. You never know, on camera, you never know. I have a couple of her liquid eye chrome, uh, multi-chrome. I have a couple of her liquid multi-chrome colors as well, and they are also really pretty. I actually think I have all four now because I did order one, and then I, I ordered two, and then I ordered the other two like separately during the sale because I thought, well, 
I like the other ones enough that I thought I, I felt comfortable like spending the spending the coin on um, the other two. What I should have done was just like bought the full set, which was a little bit less expensive. I'm going to pick up the color scrap, which is the dark green one. And we're going to see if we can deepen this up a little bit. That's nice. Like most greens like this, it doesn't really come off looking green. It, it's more of a, like a blackened green or a, a grayed out green, which is, you know, honestly, that's, that's the color it is. Army greens are kind of grungy, grungy greens. What do we think? Do we like that? I'm going to add just a little bit of the color manganese, which is the purple, like right in the crease, just to see if I can almost like warm it up a little bit, even though this is a, yeah, it's, it's a warm tone purple. It's not super, super warm, but it's, can we tell the difference? Yeah, I can tell the difference. And I'm not taking that on the outer part. I'm just kind of focusing it in the, in the crease. I'm going to take just a little bit more of that color plutonium. Make sure everything's nice and blended. Can hear my kitty Lulu down at the bottom of the stairs behind the closed door meowing to be let in. <laughs> so far I really like this. I like these these mats and stuff. And although the, the multi-chromes are lovely and I, I hope that that means that brands, not just her, but will be doing more of of these multi-chrome type of shadows because they are they're so I mean they're so pretty they're so rewarding and stuff and although indie brands have been doing multi-chromes for quite a while now and they're most of them are beautiful like the Cleona I have like six Cleona shadows they're gorgeous but they're hard to get and you know they're just like like I say they're an indie brand and so they they really struggle trying to keep up with the demand for their for their products and stuff. So, you know, there's that. I mean, I absolutely want to support an indie brand whenever I can. Okay, let's see. I think I am going to, I think I'm going to do like a colorful liner. I'm going to go put on the rest of my makeup, including my, my eyeliner, and I will come back. I will share everything that I put on the rest of my face with you. And I'll give you kind of some final thoughts, at least for this first try on of the Natasha Denona trichrome palette. And yeah, I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, I'm back and I've got the rest of my face on real quick. Today I used the Danessa Myricks foundation and uh, this is a pretty new one for me and I've only worn it one, maybe two times before. This is one of those foundations that can go super, super heavy. You don't need very much. And today I mixed it with the Farsali, um, the oil, the one in the white bottle, the 24 karat gold one, I think. And um, because this is also a little bit light, I put a drop of number seven um, foundation drops in it to, to make it match a little bit better. But we'll see how, how this wears. For my bronzer slash contour, I went in again with my NYX uh, Highlight Contour Pro Palette. And um, I basically used all of these on the bottom row to some degree or another. For my blush, I went in with my Sephora Holographic Face and Cheek Palette. And I went in with this color and this color. And I just kind of mixed these two together. And uh, super pretty. I'm enjoying that, that palette. 
For my highlighter, I went in with the Danessa Myricks in Light in Angel Wings. This is super pretty, a little glittery, but I kind of like it. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying that. For my lips, I went in with the Sephora Lip Liner in Nothing But Nude. I went over that a little bit with the Ofra uh, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dubai, just pretty lightly. And then I went over that with a gloss. This is the one from Morphe in the shade Frosé. Um, my lashes are, I think they are Ardell 258s, 3s, I'm not sure. I'll link them down below. I link everything down below. I went in on my bottom uh, lash line with the color manganese from the Natasha Denona palette. And I put a little bit of the green um, multi-chrome in the inner corner of my eyes just for something a little fun. And I'm super pleased with this palette so far. As I mentioned before, I wish that there was one or two dark colors, darker colors, but, and I certainly haven't used everything in the palette yet, but I, I plan on it. If you'd like to see more, more looks with this palette, please let me know. I will be happy to do more looks. I may do them anyway, but um, I would love to hear from you if you're interested in that. But I, overall, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, I didn't have any problems blending anything. And, um, I like the, uh, the, uh, Multi-chrome, I, I can't, I can't, for some reason I just, I'm having a hard time saying multi-chrome or tri-chrome or whatever today, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's really pretty. It's, I like the sort of purple to green coppery shift of it. Um, I'm quite enjoying that. Um, I think that's everything that I wanted to say about it. I mean, I, like I say, so far, this is just my first time wearing it, but uh, I'm liking it. Blended well. Um, layered well. Uh, I didn't have any issues with patchiness or, or anything like that. Whether or not it's worth $129, even if it's on sale for 20% off. Um, let me get back to you on that because I'm not absolutely sure. I'm pleased that I have it. I'm excited to play with it some more. I have no intention of returning it. So maybe that tells you something, right? I think that is going to do it for my video today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I had a lot of fun playing with this new palette. I've got more to come. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring that bell for notification whenever I upload a new video, which is several times a week. And until next time, bye guys!